Monsieur Leroy. What do you think of this one? What a pity that the painter, who has a certain understanding of color, doesn't draw better. His dancer's legs are as cottony as the gauze of her skirts. Then, very quietly, with my most naive air, I led him to the plowed field of Pissarro. At the sight of this astounding landscape, the good man thought the lenses of his spectacles were dirty. He wiped them carefully and replaced them on his nose. By Jove, what on earth is that? You see, a hoarfrost on deeply plowed furrows. Those furrows? That frost? But, but they are but palette scrapings placed uniformly on a dirty canvas. It has neither head nor tail, top nor bottom. But do look at those three strips of color which are supposed to represent a man in the midst of wheat? Perhaps. But the impression is there. Well, it's a funny impression. Oh, and this. What is this? Leave me alone now with your impression. It's neither here nor there. There's something to the water. The shadow in the foreground, for instance, is very peculiar. It's the vibration of the tone that astonishes you. Call it the sloppiness of tone and I'd understand you better. Oh, Corot, Corot, what crimes are committed in your name? It was you who brought into fashion this messy composition, these thin washes, these mud splashes against which the art lover has been rebelling for thirty years, and which he has accepted only because constrained and forced to it by your tranquil stubbornness. Once again, a drop of water has worn away the stone. Aha! <laughs> Is that brilliant enough now? There's impression, or I don't know what it means. Only be so good as to tell me what those innumerable black tongue lickings in the lower part of the picture represent. <laughs> Why, those are people walking along. Did I look like that when I'm walking down the boulevard? <laughs> Blood and thunder! Now take Madame Morris. That young lady is not interested in reproducing trifling details. When she had a hand to paint, she makes exactly as many brush strokes as there are fingers. And the business is done. This one's called Impression Sunrise by Monet. Impression, I was certain of it. I was just telling myself since I was impressed <laughs> that there had to be some impression to it. <laughs> and what freedom, what ease of workmanship. Wallpaper in its earliest state is more finished than that seascape. 